I grew up in the 1960s and 70s, and that was the space age. And as far as I can remember, every kid I knew wanted to be an astronaut, including me. And unfortunately, since I got air sick, I realized that that was not gonna work out. But it was an era in which people were really very positive about science and the potential of science. We have lived on, we have lived on. I'm the child of immigrants, and my family really believes in education, scholarly household, lots of reading, lots of discussing different topics. I didn't really know that I wanted to be a scientist until I got a summer job making fly food in a Drosophila lab when I was 17 years old. And it was the most boring, mundane, routine thing possible, but as soon as I was in the lab, I fell in love with it. I've never left. I've been there ever since. I first met Corey when I was just trying to learn about the world of science. I soon found myself just calling her over and over again to run ideas by, to talk about sort of what the future of science could be at the Chan Zuckerberg Initiative. My role at CZI is to be trying to think about science as a whole. It's a tremendous honor, and it's also a very challenging question to think about what science needs. My approach to science is similar to what we often used to say in the environmental movement, which is think globally, act locally. Try to solve very specific, concrete problems where you can make progress, but always try to place them in the larger context of the big problems and the places the field is trying to move over a long period of time. Corey has exquisite judgment about how decisions ought to be made optimally to advance science. She knows the science exquisitely well, but she knows the people. She can see a few steps ahead of where most people can see. She's not a reductionist. She sees science as a greater, complex, interwoven ecosystem and breaks through the different silos to really have a sense of like, what can we do as a broader community together? Her work on that lowly roundworm, C. elegans, demonstrated that there were a lot of really complicated things that that worm could do. Now you might say, that's such a simple system, what could it teach us about the human brain? Well, it could teach us a lot. It is simply astonishing that the richness of human experience can emerge from this three pound organ that is built out of genes. As a Quincy native, um, I have a lot of uh, attachment and pride to Massachusetts and awed by the work that you guys are doing at UMass and excited that Corey, someone I love, uh, respect and am awed by on a regular basis can be part of your community. UMass is special to me because I see it as an institution that's learned to be really an important medical institution and a meaningful scientific institution with a specialty that everyone looks up to and respects. The work that's been done on RNA biology at UMass is so important. We see it now in the COVID era with the RNA vaccines. You all have made a real impact and I'm glad to be associated with you at this moment of real triumph for that work going forward.